Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Cam back at you again. Today I bring you my favourite licks in the style of Eric Johnson. Now Eric Johnson hasn't been a huge influence on my playing, but he's been kind of a uh, sort of side influence, if you like, a side bitch, if you like, if, if you want to compare him as part of my influences. Uh, I've mainly been influenced by Zach Wilde, but uh, he, uh, in terms of the pentatonic thing. But I have nicked a few ideas from Eric Johnson, and I love his clean stuff as well. But nevertheless, here is the passage. Here we go. Okay guys, to take you through the lick slowly. Alright, uh, we're in standard tuning. And just to take you through this little idea, it basically starts off with a really cool G major -y octave idea, and it then goes into a series of different passages here. So, starting off, we're on the third fret of the low E string. Then we're going to play two and f and five on the A string. We're then going to move this position up the octave. So now it's fifth fret of the D, fourth fret of the G, and then seventh fret on the G. Same again, we're moving up an octave, we're going to the 8th fret of the B string, 7th fret of the high E, and then 10th fret of the high E. Okay, now we're moving this shape up, we're doing 10 on the B, 8 on the high E, and then 12 on the high E. Do exactly the same thing, we're moving up 2 frets. Now we do something a little interesting here, we're doing 13 on the... B string, 12 on the E, then 14 on the E, and then we're going to slide our index up to the 15th fret of the high E. So, just a little, uh, just a little nuance to give it a little bit of spice and uh, dexterity, I suppose. And then what I do is I play 17 and 19. And what this gives you the option to do is, should you want to, you can extend the pattern. Here. That's just if you want, uh, but for the sake of the lick, I chose to nick something directly out of Cliffs of Dover, thereabouts, and it's this little economy picking idea here. And that little idea there is we're pedaling on the 15th fret of the high E, and then we're picking on the B string, so it's 19 on the B, 15 again, 17 on the B. 19 on the G, 17 on the G, to give it that G major quality, we're going to the 16th fret there on the G. That's quite a stretch if you're new to that sort of thing, we're now going over to the D string, and that's 19 again. Then 19 again on the D, then we're going to slide down to the 14th fret on the D, and now we're in the E minor pentatonic position if you noticed. It's a great way of extending licks because if you look for certain scale positions, they will save you if you like, if you're improvising. In the case of the lick, I do a little run up here, which is not so much Eric Johnson style, I just fill it in as a little connector lick before we get to the pentatonic fives, and it's this. So slowly. Okay, so now we're on the 15th fret on the high E, and I tend to play, well, we're going to be playing this, pentatonic fives. And did that on the 14th fret of the D. And one thing you'll notice with me is I don't pick it the same way as Eric Johnson. And that's simply because I have so much trouble with it. Uh, as a, I can pick perfectly fine with everything else, but I'm actually left-handed, and it's really thrown me with some pentatonic ideas. Uh, for instance, if I'm playing some Zach Wilde pentatonic sixes, for instance, uh, 
I'll start with an upstroke, and because of that, it's always resulted in me. I can kind of do it the Eric Johnson way, it's just not as nice. I'm just not comfortable doing it at all. And uh, that's the way he does it, just to show you. He does a. Uh, so basically, down, up, down, up. Then he does an extra downstroke for the fifth note there. Which is nice to do uh, if you want to give it a little bit more of an edge, but I tend to prefer a more of a pull-off kind of action to just make it a little bit more bubbly for me. Just something I love to do. And you can extend that all over the place. It, uh, so if you want to stretch out your pentatonic positions, you can. Uh, if you should choose to do that. It also sounds really great up here, you know, so... I digress. Have fun. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you've liked what you've seen. Please make sure to like and subscribe. There's tons of lessons on here. I do gear reviews, all sorts. See you soon.